Hello, I'd like to take you through a quick demonstration to show you the integration between FishMe Triage and Last Line Analyst. Uh, just real briefly here, FishMe Triage is a phishing incident response solution that has built in analysis to help identify malware, but at the same time, it also has integrations with partners such as Last Line. And so if you're a Last Line customer, you'll be able to enter in your last line credentials into triage and at the ingestion of these emails into the triage system it'll be able to utilize the capabilities that you have to submit samples to last line for analysis and an important thing as to the way triage works is that these emails are the ones that are reported from your employees these emails have bypassed your gateway your other network defenses that you have in place and they've been received in the inbox. And generally when that occurs, there's a good chance that these are targeted uh, malicious types of emails that are being received by the employees. And those employees that are empowered to report suspicious emails uh, need a place for these to be sent. And that's where triage will receive these emails and analyze them for malware. And we're able to as I said at the beginning, utilize our own capabilities as well as other integrations that we have, such as Last Line Analyst, to be able to help you make the most of your security investments. So this is a dashboard. I won't go through all the uh, capabilities of triage, but I do want to show you the integration capabilities that we have with Last Line Analyst so that you can see how the two complement and work together. Uh, down here, you'll be able to go to the administration section. And the setup is pretty simple. All they have to do is go to the integrations option. And you'll see there's an option up here for last line analyst. And so once in the configuration tab, the uh, setup is pretty simple. This will take you less than a minute uh, as long as you have the information that you need. And once you enable this, you put in the email address that you have with last line. Uh, you're going to enter in your custom host name. So whatever that is, whether that's your on-premise solution uh, or that may be uh, if you're using the hosted version uh, with last line you'll be able to enter that in and then you need your API credentials so enter in those values and then enable the particular file types that you want to have analyzed so these are the types of attachments that can be analyzed from last line and so you go through and enable whichever ones that are most appropriate for your organization and you can also submit URLs, which we'll see that as an example here too. So we'll take a look at attachments as well as URLs. And there's also a data expiration field, which will say that anything that has been received within, in this case, eight hours, uh, you could argue that it doesn't have to be analyzed again because it was just received. Um, so you would set that parameter. And later on, let's just say that you want to analyze the message again, you would have the ability to manually submit this within triage, that same attachment, if you so choose. So uh, just because it wasn't analyzed um, at one point in time doesn't mean it can't be reanalyzed again. So this is an example of the inbox inside triage. The goal of triage is to cluster like messages together and to make the security analyst job very efficient, very effective. Um, when emails are reported, let's just say for example, a thousand emails are reported a day, it's really important for an analyst to know which ones they need to focus their time on. And so at ingestion into triage here, we will process these messages before an analyst even has to put eyes on glass. And we are doing that as well with our integration with last line. So in this example here, we have an email that has been received um, by a, a lot of people within the organization. And if we click on this one here, we'll be able to go through and see what triage is providing the analyst. So they'll be able to see header information, HTML view, attachments, etc. And in this case here, there's a couple ways we can tell right off the bat this one is a malicious email. Uh, for starters, over on the right hand side, you can see that we have uh, a link here that will take you into the type of file that was received. And also down here inside this, we're going to be able to show you this doc and the results from last line analyst. So if we click on the dots here, you can tell from the green checkbox it's already been analyzed. If we come over to this a little bit more, we'll be able to see that if we want to, we could manually submit this file again. So in, in a case where you would do that is when an email might have come back as benign or uh, something that you want to reanalyze again, or maybe it was somewhere in the middle 
Um, it wasn't um, malicious yet, but you might want to submit it again. Um, in this case here, we already know just from a few of the indicators that this one is a malicious file. So we're going to click on the view results and it's going to bring back the results that it has seen from last line. So this is all the data that we get back from last line. We're going to present it to you inside this screen. You're going to see the type of uh, attachment that it was, the file name, the hash value, when it was submitted, and then a maliciousness score. This is something that's being provided back from last line. And so in this case here, 99 out of 100, a very malicious file, and then all the other attributes of this malware and what it was trying to do. And so all this will come back to you. So already you have a lot of information right in front of you, but if you wanted to go back into the portal of last line, you can actually view the full details. And we're giving you a link directly over to that. And I'll show you what that looks like here. So if you click on that, you're going to get everything back inside the portal. So this is where your message was, excuse me, your attachment was uploaded and assessed. And here's all the um, attributes of this as well. So you can see it was a malicious behavior detected and we can scroll down and see all the other things that last line has recognized as a result of analyzing this malware. And so that's just a really good example of how these emails that have been reported by employees can come into triage, match criteria, leveraging the API that you have and reuse your, your existing technologies for the betterment of your organization. And so that'll give you a lot of insight into this as well. Um, I mentioned before that we can do URLs, so let's take a look at what that looks like. So if we go back into our inbox here, if we scroll down just a touch, you'll see that uh, we have a few other red indicators here. And this one is going to take a look at this particular URL that has been received inside the message body. Very similar process. Um, we've got a maliciousness score, so we know right away that this link is deemed malicious. Uh, just simply by, based on the value that we have. And so you can respond to that according to your organization's um, expectations based on what's been received here. So again, something that the employees have received, it was missed at the gateway, ended up in the inbox and they reported this, now you can do something specific with it within your organization's instant response process. And so that was a real quick overview. Um, it's a pretty simple integration, but very effective. Uh, the setup is very quick. Uh, with those credentials that you have, you're able to plug those in and start submitting samples at the time of ingestion um, based on the criteria that you would like. So simply put, those emails come in, they're analyzed, they're leveraging existing technology solutions that you have, and you're going to be able to get those results back into the inbox here and be able to view those very quickly and decide which ones you need to respond to. And you can create a workflow all based on the information that you receive. So if something comes back that is malicious and it matches that type of criteria, you may decide to send that off to your SIM. Uh, the team that is managing that may be responding to that just the same and being able to go in and, and track down those types of emails that have been coming into your business here, all because of employees reporting those, as well as your integrations between partners working together. I hope you found this very useful. Uh, we look forward to hearing from you, and thank you very much for your time.